In this video I'm going to demonstrate the slump test, a common neurodynamic test for the lower limb. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. In a review from the year 2010, the slump test was evaluated with ranges of sensitivity from 44 to 87% and ranges of specificity from 23 to 63%. During the slump test, you are maximally stretching the neural structures of the vertebral canal and foramen. The goal is to elicit pathological neurological symptoms such as shooting pain, numbness or burning down into the lower limb. A positive slump test can serve as an indication for a herniated disc or nerve root entrapment. To conduct a test, ask your patient to sit on the long end of the table with the hips in neutral, meaning no rotation, abduction or adduction. Then the slum test follows this sequence. The patient is then asked to fold the hands behind the back and slump into lumbar and thoracic flexion while maintaining the head erect. Then gently apply over pressure over the shoulders with one arm and ask the patient to bring the chin to the chest. Add overpressure to this triple flexion position with the hand and ask the patient to actively extend the knee on the affected side. While maintaining this position, add passive dorsiflexion. That was the full sequence of the slump test. Your patient might display increase of symptoms at any given stage of this sequence. If that is the case, you're not going to continue with further sequential movements. The slump test is positive if neurological symptoms are reproduced. Some discomfort like tension over the hamstrings with restriction in knee extension or tension over thoracic spine levels T8, T9 are non-pathological symptoms not indicative of a positive test. Even if you think the slump test was positive, as with any neurodynamic test, you should not disregard sensory, motor and reflex assessment. Now if you want to learn more about neurodynamic tests, make sure to watch our videos on the straight leg raise test and the prone knee bending test. Like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and follow us on various social media. Just click the links down below. This was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.